All right, you guys, we are here, and this is my sweet friend, Hannah. She's going to be doing my eyebrows today, and we're gonna be giving you all of the details, and hopefully, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below, um, but hopefully, we'll be going over most of those questions today. Super excited to start this process. We're being blinded by all of these lights, but it's great lighting. My it's eyes awesome. are watery. Yeah, <laughs> we might, it, we're not crying. It's just, we're being blinded, so. All right, you guys, so we are here in Hannah's little studio. It's super cute. Um, and I am going to run through some questions with her. She's gonna run through with you guys um, as to how um, this process starts. Um, and then we'll kind of get into um, more of the details and the healing process and touch-up process here in a little bit. Um, but the first thing I wanna start with is obviously today and fixing these bad boys <laughs> up. Um, I look crazy, but um, so just tell me a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. Sure, yeah. So first we will go over um, your brow shape, your face shape, look at how you like your eyebrows to look. We're not gonna make anything new. Uh, yep. We're gonna follow what you already have. Yep. Enhance the already brows that are there mm -hmm. and just give them a more full look. So from a distance like this, you can see your eyebrows. And I know everybody's probably like <laughs> used to seeing you with eyebrows on mm -hmm. most of your videos yes. when you have your eyebrows. Yes. So we will measure that out, draw them on. I will have you okay the way that they look and we can tweak anything at that time. Perfect. Um, and then after you're in love with the shape that I have put on there, then I will put some numbing cream on and then we will start the process. And really what takes the longest is getting your eyebrows to match one another. The actual process of microblading them I can, on. I feel that, so it's very similar to like putting them on with like pencil yes. and getting that shape perfect. Yes. I always say they're, they're sisters, not twins. Yes, which they <laughs> should be. You know, they shouldn't have to be perfect. Right. And I like to pride myself in keeping it as natural as possible without them being like totally fake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you even see my eyebrows right now? <laughs> They're probably so washed out. <laughs> All right, so do you want to tell me a little bit about does it hurt? What does the actual microblading process look like? Do you want right. to get into that a little yes. bit? Yes, a lot of people ask that. Like, I'm afraid. Is it going to hurt? You know, trying to um, compare it to like if they have a tattoo already or not. And I do use numbing. Um, it's a there's a couple different kinds of numbing that are available and the one that I use uh, takes about 15 minutes to get um, into effect and so we just wait that 15 minutes and then after that um, it, if you feel any pain for any reason as we go through because everybody's pain tolerance is different then I just apply, apply more numbing for you at that time um, and so it, it really is pain free most people say they can feel me stretching their skin mm -hmm. but never any pain Anyways, all right, so we're gonna run through that process with you guys here um, real quick and then we're gonna get right into the process. But when we actually start in with the microblading, um, I do, I go back and forth from one brow to the other. And so I, I wipe the numbing off and I do what's um, called the outline or the first pass. And then I mask it and that's a crazy looking mm. picture when it's masked. <laughs> um, it's very funny. And then, and that's, what masking is, is it's putting the ink into the small cuts that I've made onto your skin. Okay. Um, because that is the way that the microblade is. Like it does a little cut in your skin and then the ink, or the pigment is put into those little cuts. Cool. Then I go to the other side and I do the first pass. Then I um, mask it again. So gorgeous at that point. <laughs> Can't wait for you guys to see. <laughs> and then I come back to the first brow, I wipe it off, and I do some filling in with strokes. Okay. And I go back and forth about three, maybe four times. Okay. Then I wipe them both clear off, oh, and I look at them and assess them. Do we need to add a stroke here? Does you know one brow need to be tweaked a little bit yep. at that point? And then wipe them all off again, and you get to reveal the look. I get to reveal that to you. Mm, I'm so excited. So after the process today, after we're done with our first appointment, um, from what I understand, there's a two week healing process um, and then we come back in for touch ups. Do you wanna go over yeah. that? Yeah. You kind of explain what that looks yeah. like? Yeah, um, first thing, everybody's healing process is a little bit different of time. Mm -hmm. um, our skin is very different from one another, but on average, these average numbers here, um, the first day is important to wipe them gently or dab them with um, 
a, a solution pad that I'm going to provide for you. And then it's important to do that morning and night and, and apply an A and Z ointment on them. And all this aftercare stuff I provide so that you don't go to the drugstore and it's like, oh, there's so much to choose from. Um, and aftercare is very important because mm -hmm. that helps with the retention. And what, right. you know, what you're doing at home is going to make a big difference in how beautiful they heal. Mm -hmm. So that um, that's like about the first three days where okay. you want to wipe them morning and night and put the A and Z ointments on. Okay. And then after that, they are going to start to scab a little bit, but it's not like an icky, bloody scab. We've um, wiped away a lot of the lymph and, um, as they were healing those first few days. And so what's going to happen then, it's going to be more like dry skin, kind of. But this whole time, you're public ready. You don't have to stay at home or worry like what's going on in my eyebrows? <laughs> stay in a closet. Yeah. So those first three to four days they will appear a little bit darker okay. than normal or yes. than what you want for the end result to be but that right. is part of the healing process. And then after that the next uh, you know about five days or so they are going to start to peel off a little bit and it's almost going to look like oh no did like, some of it get lost? Like it's not there anymore it peeled off. Mm -hmm. Well the way that the skin heals is that pigment has to still come back to the surface layers of the skin. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Yes. Very interesting. So at about like 10 days to two weeks, um, they're going to start then to get darker from peeling. Right. Um, and then more like three weeks, you can kind of see the, the true color that they're going to be. Mm -hmm. And then we want to make sure that they're fully healed all the way, the color and um, the, the little cuts in your skin. So at about six weeks, we recommend your first touch up to perfect the strokes, the color, the shape, mm -hmm. um, just to make sure it, it is exactly how you want them to be. And, and then after that, your eyebrows should be fine for like at least a year. If, if you want to keep touching them up so that they are crisp in color and shape, then about a year is when you would want to come back again. Um, otherwise, you can just let them, they, they'll fade out like a tattoo, but they'll fade out all the way eventually, possibly five years down the road. Very interesting. So it's similar to a tattoo, but these, these fade a little bit faster. Yes. Very interesting. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so just real quick, I am gonna have Hannah run through. There's some really important before care tips. Um, yes, there's after care tips to make sure that your brows and the pigment come in beautiful, but you also wanna make sure that you are well prepared for your appointment. So I'm gonna have her kind of run through um, some of those before care tips when you're preparing for your first appointment. So it's really important to like make sure your eyebrows aren't like waxed that morning. We recommend if you are, do want to get them waxed before your appointment that you do it at least like two days beforehand um, but really you could just come in with them a hot mess and I will fix them up for you. <laughs> it's gonna be really good guys. <laughs> um, also like laser peels, skin peels, things that we do to our face um, mm -hmm. is to take into consideration also and the list can be kind of long so make sure that you talk well with your your microblading technician so that you know that you haven't done anything too close to the, the time that you're getting your eyebrows microbladed. Um, you, drinking an alcoholic beverage is not recommended 24 hours. No mimosas in the morning, <laughs> ladies. No mimosas beforehand. Um, you know, that's it thins your blood and then you bleed more um, and then the color doesn't, the retention is not as good. Mm -hmm. um, certain things like that um, also, if you are nursing or pregnant, um, I don't, I don't recommend for you to get this done. Um, it's, it's just for most people not recommend. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Um, and then um, also with like cancer patients or um, chemo things like that, you do need to wait. Like, if you have that done, like at least a year for your body to be ready for sure. Treatments. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, also another thing that. Of or after like um, it's important to like treat treat your microblading as a tattoo as far as not yeah. going out in the sun not going swimming um, don't excessively like sweat in that area until it's been healed <laughs> um, yep don't be a hot mess. Don't go running laps at Target <laughs> right after you get your eyebrows done. All right, so we're just gonna hop right into the process. I'm gonna give you a really good close-up as to what my eyebrows look like right now. Let's get real close and personal so that you can really appreciate how insane they look beforehand um, and then appreciate them even more afterwards when they're nice and crisp and beautiful and cleaned up. So let's hop right into it. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, yay! Close. 
Okay, so first I'm using this string and I'm gonna mark up your face a little bit with some black lines. Okay. So this is finding the center. Do you have one favorite brow? Mm, no. <laughs> no. Okay. And then we find where the brow should start based off of like the middle of your nostril and your eye. Hey, that's how I do my brows. Yeah. Try not to get like too much chalk all over you. Okay. And then the arch, you have a pretty good arch. You can see where it's at. Otherwise, you go up like through the middle of the pupil. Mm -hmm. And then the side, it goes from the side of your nose up. That's exactly it. Okay. Yep. And that's how I shape my eyeliner and my brows. Oh yeah, so there's your eyeliner. Mm -hmm. It comes right off of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I'm gonna put the numbing on now. Okay. It, it might tingle, I don't know, but it doesn't burn or hurt. Okay, and now I'm putting on uh, cellophane or whatever it is, because <laughs> mm -hmm. this is going to hold the numbing in. Okay. And this is where we wait now for like 15 minutes at least. The longer okay. we wait, the number it is. Perfect. Um, and you can get up, you know, you can do whatever, you can get to the bathroom. You can do anything right now, just okay. if it starts to like fall off, just push it back on. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's it, guys. We're done. That's a, that's the final result. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Right now we have the so this is the numbing. Um, we have numbing on here, and then there's just like some cellophane over the top to keep in. Um, and we're gonna wait 15 minutes, and then it is time to start making that shape that she so nicely um, drew out. It's trying. It's time to make that permanent after we're done with this. So. I'm sure you guys are really loving this angle of me looking at my nose, but Okay, all right. We'll see you guys in 15. So we just went over the colors um, This is kind of the sheet that we had to choose from um, And we came to the decision to kind of mix in between these two for me because I am blonde But my natural hair color is darker. So we are going to be doing these two um, and then just something I wanted to show you guys so this how cool is this examples of like her work and she goes more so like on the natural side so like this um, this is more so gonna be like a powdered makeup look but um, this tends to look better um, and more natural in the end but isn't this so cool I'm just wiping off the numbing right now. So I'm going to be pulling on your skin, and I'll do the first one. Did you feel anything? No. Nope. But you heard that kind of like tick noise kind mm -hmm. of? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so I just finished up with my brows and they look incredible. They look, I have no words, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh, I love them, I love them. You're welcome. Okay, so now a little bit, she is gonna go over it with me, um, the aftercare, so I'm just gonna kinda let her um, take it from here to talk about the aftercare. So I have two papers here for you. Okay. One is the microblading emojis. Okay. It's self-explanatory, but so you have that, so you can refer to that later on. Perfect. And then this is the written instructions. It's all written out, so that if you have any questions, you can refer to this, or you know how to get a hold of me. Awesome. Um, so I went over having to wipe your brows, and that I would yes. provide what you needed for it. Okay. And it's yep. a very gentle wipe because you don't want to wipe away any of the color or damage any of the skin. Okay. And so this is just a diluted soap and water on here. Okay. And you're gonna do that once every hour for the next five hours. Okay. Then in the, before you go to bed, and then again in the morning for about the next three to four days. Okay. Here is the A and D ointment, and that should go on after you wipe before you go to bed. Okay. And then in the morning after you wipe, um, just for the rest of the day to have that on. Okay. And then a little shaver to keep things beautiful. Mm-hmm. Spoolie because Tetra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, my business card. Beautiful. Yay! And then suckers, cause we love suckers. Oh, be oh, of course. Oh, you know who's gonna have those? <laughs> okay, maybe I should put another one in for Mike. That's yeah. For each kid. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yay! All right. Well. Thank you very much. You. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys one more really good close up. I'm sorry, like I said, my eyes are really red from being in the lights all, the bright lights all day. Um, all right, so as you guys can see here, um, my makeup is all caught around my eyebrows because I've been wiping them with those pads. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a really good close up um, as to how the brows are looking. Um, obviously, we're only six, seven hours um, post microblading, so they are nice and crisp, and that um, pigment is perfect it's exactly where i want it to be um but yeah i just wanted to go over the shape again so um when hannah sits you down like i said she's going to go over that shape and then we added in some longer strokes here um and then we added in just like some like random ones um where we needed where we thought needed to be filled in um now when i go back in six weeks we can add additional strokes and we can add some darker strokes and kind of like mix in some dark brown in here um we did a mix of the medium brown and dark brown today and this is how they turned out i am like i said i am thoroughly blown away with the results the lines are so beautiful and crisp and um just I can't believe like all of these little lines like those are the strokes you guys those are not just my hairs um, I think in that footage earlier you guys were able to see um, a really good example of what is strokes and what is my actual hair all right so we are at the end of the day kids are crazy getting into bed um, I have just um, in my other video, I just wiped the brows like I've been showing you guys I've been doing um, and now I'm taking my a and D ointment I'm Just gonna open it a little bit and I'm gonna take a cotton swab q-tip and I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and Coat my brows So you want to make sure that you do this every night before you go to bed and then every morning as soon as you wake up And then you also want to make sure that you're doing this prior to getting into the shower. Um, and just give them a good coat. Again, this um, aftercare is really important because this is going to ensure that your eyebrows are going to heal correctly and that the pigment is going to take in all of the really important things. So I, especially this first night, I'm gonna give it a really good coat. Give it some extra TLC, even if it looks kind of crazy. All right, the kids are going to bed, so that's what you're hearing in the background is Mike putting the kids to bed. All right, really good in here for you guys so you can see. Um, and then after I put this on, then I will wash my face. And um, all right, after this, I will wash my face and then um make sure that I do not get my brows wet. I'm just gonna kind of wipe some of that excess um, a and D ointment off that's like all around the edge. 
Okay, so there we go. That actually feels really soothing too. I know it looks really crazy, but um, like I said, so I am just going to leave this, take off my makeup, and then call it a night.